Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to set up your Tinder router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. So, the first step is to power on the router. Take the power adapter. Connect one end of the power adapter to a wall socket and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. Once it's on, an indicator will light up. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port is often called WAN and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks into place. Now you need to reset the router back to its factory settings. Press and hold the router's reset button for 10 seconds. Wait until the lights on the router start to flash. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will restart, and all the settings will go back to their original factory settings. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into an Ethernet port. Plug the other end into your computer or laptop's Ethernet card. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But before we begin, I will demonstrate an alternative way to connect the router if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Just connect the router to the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will be named as your router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great job connecting to the router. Now let's move on to the setup process. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning, you will see a form with a password. Usually, it is admin or password. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. So, at the very beginning, you will see the setup wizard, which will help you configure your internet connection. First, the router will try to automatically detect your connection type. You can also select your connection type manually. All this information can be found in your contract with the internet provider. If you have a static IP address, select it and enter the required information. This type is applicable if you are assigned a fixed IP address for accessing the internet. If you have PPPoE, 
Choose this option and enter your username and password. If you're not sure what type of connection you have, then select this option. It's the most common type. Next, come up with a name and password for your future Wi-Fi network. The password must be at least eight characters long. Then click the OK button. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network using the new settings. After the basic setup, you should be redirected to the router's main page. Now you need to restart the router. But first, I recommend updating the firmware for stable performance. Here you can change the router's interface language. I'll keep it in English. Go to the administration menu. Here, click the online upgrade button. If a new firmware version is available, update it. After updating, reboot the router. To do this while still in the administration menu, click the reboot button. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully restarts. Now check if the internet is working. Just try Googling something. If there's no internet connection, you need to try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go back to the administration menu. Here, find the WAN parameters section. From the drop-down list, select Clone Local Hosts MAC and click the OK button. Then once again, reboot the router. Wait a few minutes for the router to fully power on. Now check if the internet is working, just try Googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, at this point you need to call your internet provider. They will tell you exactly what type of connection you need and what additional parameters to set. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.